Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to answer the question which EV stock is a better one to buy, Tesla stock or Rivian stock? I'm going to compare the two using several different metrics and try to equalize them, put them on similar footing, although they are uh, in different stages in their growth cycles. Tesla is further along in their development while Rivian is a much younger company. So let's get right into First it. First thing I'm going to look at here is the revenue between the two companies. You'll notice here that Tesla in its most recent quarter delivered revenue of $21.45 billion, whereas Rivian just did $500 million. So very big difference here in terms of revenue. And you can also see Tesla's revenue has been growing nicely. And I'm just looking at a chart here for one year. If I extended it out further, you would see Tesla's revenues growing very nicely year over year over the past several years. So advantage will go to Tesla here in terms of re quarterly revenue. The next metric I will look at is gross profit margin. So this is how much profit Tesla makes off of each car versus how much Rivian makes off of each car. Tesla's gross profit margin was 25% in the most recent quarter, where Rivian was negative 171%. That negative figure can be a little misleading because Rivian is not producing in the quantities anywhere near what Tesla is producing at. Tesla has achieved robust economies in scale and so is delivering um, best in class, really, gross profit margins entire in across the entire electric vehicle space tesla has achieved a nice scale here after several years of expanding production adding new facilities learning from their mistakes and growing whereas rivian hasn't yet reached that level it's hoping to get there but it hasn't gotten there yet so tesla gets the advantage here in terms of gross profit margin The next metric I look at is the market cap, just to show the difference between the size of the companies. Tesla's market cap is $567 billion, where Rivian is just $27.7 billion. Both companies have came down off their highs. Tesla was formerly a $1.2 trillion market cap company, and it's, it's more than halved down to 567 billion so investors can get both of these stocks at cheaper prices than the than their highs but still neither of them is 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 cheap apps on absolute terms it's, they're just cheap if you compare it to their previous highs here in this regard i would give Rivian the advantage because Rivian has more room to grow more room to expand whereas Tesla's market cap is already 567 billion dollars it doesn't have much room to 5x or 10x from here whereas Rivian could potentially 5x or 10x or even 20x its market cap from here so in terms of long-term profit potential I would give Rivian the advantage in market cap and the next metric I look at is cash and equivalents on the balance sheet. This is more important for Rivian, I would say, than Tesla because Tesla has achieved positive cash flows. It's not burning through cash, whereas Rivian is still burning through cash. Still, Rivian has a nice bank of $13 billion in cash and equivalents to get itself to reach the economies and scale that Tesla has reached. Tesla itself is not too shabby with cash and equivalents of $19.5 billion. So in this regard, I wouldn't... Uh, it, it's an even uh, battle here in terms of cash and equivalents on the balance sheet, it, especially if we look proportionally. Rivian is a um, smaller market cap company with $13 billion, whereas Tesla is a much larger market cap with $19 billion. So I would give, it, I would give these two EV stocks a tie in terms of cash on the balance sheet. And the next metric I look at is cash flow from operations. And what I have here is a five year hi history going all the way back to 2018. Of course, with Rivian, we only have history going back to the middle of 2021 
with Tesla, we have a longer history. It's been public for a longer time frame. What you could see from Tesla here in the purple is solidly expanding cash flows from operations, which is excellent if you're an investor. This is what you like to see growing cash flows from operations in 2018 it was barely positive and in its most recent quarter you see 5.1 billion in cash flow from operations whereas Rivian is going in the opposite direction started slightly negative and as it ramped up production expanded output its cash flows in its most recent quarter were negative 1.4 billion so in this regard Tesla has the advantage right now although Rivian could potentially reach these levels. This is where Rivian hopes to be. It's just not there yet. It's just too young of a company. It's not there yet. Tesla gets the advantage here in terms of cash flow from operations. And finally, I look at valuations. And since Rivian has negative cash flows and negative earnings, I chose to compare these two in valuation using the price to sales ratio and we could see here both of the valuations have came down significantly. Tesla has came down from above uh, close to a 30 price to sales ratio down to 8.2 and Rivian has came from a price to sales ratio above 60 down to 25.96. Overall, Rivian is trading at a price to sales ratio more than three times that of Tesla. And that's partly due to the fact that Rivian has um, better growth potential than Tesla. Rivian's going to grow at a faster rate, at least in the near term, compared to Tesla. And so investors are willing to pay a premium for Rivian in terms of price to sales because they're going to increase their sales at a more rapid clip compared to Tesla. So in this regard, it's hard to make an evaluation, a distinction because these two companies are in such different phases in their growth cycle. But if, if I had to choose, I would give Tesla the slight advantage here with the price to sales of 8.2 being a better valuation than a price to sales of near 26. All right, so now that I've looked at all of the metrics and concluded with the valuation, it's time to decide which is a better EV stock to buy right now, Tesla or Rivian stock. But before I give this recommendation, this is where I like to ask you all to subscribe to the channel because this recommendation is not going to be static. It's not going to stay the same. Next quarter, we might get some new data that changes this recommendation. And so I will have updates on my channel and you're going to want to stay tuned and know when this changes and when the recommendation flips over to the other one. So please subscribe to the channel. You'll get the updates. Okay, so that said, it's time to answer the question, which is the better EV stock to buy right now? And I would say it is Tesla. Tesla is the better EV stock to buy right now. The company has achieved robust economies in scale. Gross profit margin is industry leading in the electronic vehicle space. Cash flow from operations is increasing and very solid at $5 billion per quarter. Valuation is down from its highs. So between these two, between Rivian stock and Tesla stock, I would say Tesla is the better EV stock to buy right now. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than three times. Go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now.